Our traffic expert, Jason Luber, joins us with what's driving a viewer crazy. And this is a big bump. You can't yeah. help but feel it on, mm. on I-25. Yeah, I, I drive through there regularly, yeah. and, I, and I know that dip in the highway. And really? I think everybody else knows it, too. It's <laughs> Kelvin from Denver who wrote to me saying, what's driving you crazy? When driving an I-225 northbound going over Iliff Avenue, the transition between the bridge and the far side has a very abrupt dip, which is especially noticeable in the left lane. I, I know that bump all too well, and when you hit it, Depending on your speed, it feels like you're going to be launched into the Carabas parking lot there off the side of the highway. The dip yeah. was created when the bridge was constructed. The bridge is built on a set of pilings that are set deep in the ground. Now, the roadway that approaches the bridge isn't laid down in such a sturdy bay, so there is a tendency for the soil right there next to the bridge structure to settle. That is the settling that causes the dips that to, to form there just before or after the bridge infrastructure. Now, the amount of settling could also be affected by the time of year and the soil temperatures when the structure was constructed. Another compounding factor is that the bridge beams are set with a slight rise and fall that that's that little up and down you go over that's to dissipate the tension caused by the weight of the material on the bridge and the traffic rolling over it so when a dip forms before the bridge structure that slight angle up for the drivers can compound that feeling of rising up from that dip now see engineers tell me they're currently designing a bridge maintenance project for the entire i-225 corridor they will be replacing many of the bridge expansion joints they're also hoping to address some of these other safety issues like that major dip at i-225 pen, uh, pending additional funding now the project is expected to begin this summer more on the story as always on denver7.com another big one is on north Northbound 25 right at University in the right lane. I've mm. hit you that hit, one. Oh man, oh, you hit yeah. that thing mm -hmm. and it's just really abrupt. All yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, speaking of the drive, yeah. take a look at I-225 right there at Islip. And you can actually see that in the left lane, those folks are going to be hitting that dip. And right now it looks okay in there. And I, th I think they've actually caused crashes in the past, especially when there's been bad weather, uh, been a little bit icy. Somebody will hit it and then they'll lose control. But Katie, right now, otherwise, the Aurora Drive looks quiet. 